Okay, I'm back. No need to worry, I'm fine. Uh, where were you? I had some errands to run, and Elizabeth said that she would watch Emma while I was out. It was my pleasure. She slept most of the way anyhow. Wow. I guess so. <laughs> you offered to help me unpack. I didn't expect this much help. I'm just quick. <laughs> you know, with two little boys, I've learned to do at least three things at once. I hope it's okay. It is. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah, we do. You're back from the hospital. Any, any particular reason? Yeah, I had a light day, so I was thinking about you and Emma. Well, you could have just called. Well, speaking of work, I need to get there. Um, so, the casserole, just pop it in the oven for an hour at 350. It should be good. Uh, welcome to the neighborhood, you guys. If you need anything else, just let me know. Thanks, Lily. Sure. If I had come back 10 minutes later, she would have reupholstered the furniture. She was being nice. Just a little stifling. Robin, she's our friend. Yeah, I know she's our friend, and I appreciate her help. I just, you know, hope she doesn't turn into one of those neighbors that pops in to give you friendly advice, whether you want it or not. I'm sure she would respect our privacy. I just, I mean, Elizabeth knows how stressful moving can be, especially with a newborn. If that's your idea of subtle, it needs work. For the last time, I do not have postpartum depression. Pay no attention to Matt. The only thing he likes better than looking in the mirror is the sound of his own voice. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, did I get it wrong? You two are actually more than just friends. You're dating, um, bald. Maybe, maybe I should return to that more propitious time. No, Spinelli, I want you to stay and Matt to go. Oh, you don't mean that. If I meant it anymore, I would have to have security throw you out. I might just do that anyway. It appears I've intruded on a most volatile conversation, one that I care not be privy to. No, Spinelli, Matt is repeating things out of context. I told him that you were my very best friend in the whole world. And that you two would never date. I was trying to be really nice about this. Were you? Really? Let me be clear. I wouldn't go out with you if you were the last man on earth. I will never make that never ever go out on a date with you. Your eyes are gorgeous. <laughs> Even when you are trying to despise me. <sighs> You. The designing Dr. Drake is right, though. You view the jackal as a companion only. As opposed to what? A man who could rock your world? No, I didn't know you were coming. You breaking up the pair? Yes. Yes. So... What's inspired this visit? I know how much you hate taking the launch in the winter, especially no when the storm's coming. Uh, it's almost as bad as chemo. Anyway, I talked to my friend Melissa, you know, the one who set up the Senate subcommittee meeting yeah. for you, and she said that you and Nadine made a very impressive argument against Equinox. Yes, well, Nadine deserves all the credit. She spoke from the heart, and it worked. Was that before or after she licensed the patent over to you? Oh, right. That's right. Now, that was some impressive foresight on your part, anticipating that Nadine may become overwhelmed and giving me the means to step in and help. Yeah, that was yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm concerned, curious, actually, that Equinox has not contacted you about the license. They're the largest, most secretive defense corporation in the country. I know. If they do ask me to relicense the patent, I'll just refuse. Nicholas, given their influence, Equinox's influence, and your own personal troubles with INS, you are putting yourself and your potential citizenship on rocky ground. Nadine needed my help, so I did. And of course, if you continue to do these nice, big things for her, she won't even notice that you're not actually in love with her. <laughs> you will find what you seek in Sonny's plush, if somewhat over-decorated study. Until then, uh, you're on shaky ground, darling. Of course, if Sonny finds my missive first, it'll simply be the end. No doubt you've really... <sighs> Screw you, psycho. Hey. Is he? Are you emailing a secret lover? Sending a note to an old friend about your wonderful new marriage? Oh, that's right, I forgot. I'm your only friend. Beginning to wonder, though. Skip the drama. 
What's up? What's up? Uh, well, that's what I was wondering. I was at Jake's waiting for you, remember? A little game of pool, followed by a little game of whatever up in the room, huh? Yeah. I had to take care of something. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. I got it. What? I oh, have it, what? Rick. I got What's it. What's the problem? Why, why, what are you so nervous about? Who or what has got you so spooked? Well, you don't care the FBI wants evidence against you? The Fed said that they wouldn't release Spinelli until you gave them all the information, which is what you did. You told them what they needed to hear. And I have to follow through. Well, now you tell them all you got on Anthony. Which includes you as acting head of the organization. You work for the Zakaris, sonny. Just leave. What? Cut ties with them. What difference does it make? The FBI still wants me. You're the best shot at securing a conviction. No, I think I can keep the Fed satisfied with information on Anthony. You've given the FBI evidence. Is it worth it to save Spinelli?